Hey Capricorns, and welcome to your February 2019 general tarot forecast. This is Sky here to give you guys hopefully another amazing reading for your month ahead. I hope you're feeling all right, and I hope that uh, January and your time of the year treated you well. I hope you're feeling recharged and reinvigorated to some degree. Um, I see by the energies coming up that you do on one hand, but there are still uh, probably quite a few things that need to be put into order, and there might be a bit of angst about how you're going to do going to do that um you have that nine of swords reversed five of cups reversed coming up in your reading um quite a few reversals this month you know four of pentacles uh, temperance the world um strength there's so much energy coming in for you so much major arcana energy you having the hero font strength in the world and temperance um so i want to just start off the reading with saying like um your energy is coming back there is like recharge coming in, new energy sources, new um, motivation coming in for you. But our question is, how do we turn it into something that works and something that we, um, you know, feel good about? Like, how do we feel good about our motivation? How do we follow through on our motivation? I feel like that is your um, question for this month and what you are learning this month is um, about your motivation and then how to use it. It feels very motivational to me. It feels like there might be some like stimulus or some experiences that happened throughout the month of January that have like pushed you to make a bit of a difference or pushed you to want to live in a different way as I just feel that something is stifled something has grown old something has um something is like too Saturnian as you guys know we talk about it all the time on my channel you know Saturn's in Capricorn Saturn's in your sign so it's going to really show you you know some old and worn out things some things which are no longer um, serving a purpose and it is going to challenge you on how you choose to move past that or how you choose to adapt that and I do feel like it's a month of adaption and March March becomes even more of a month of adaption as we move into Aries time in the new year um, as I've said for all the signs this month it's a lot about getting it together getting things in order getting things in a way that they can you know work for us you know setting a template setting our stage and I think that you've kind of already done that in a way, Capricorn, but I do feel like there might be just a little bit of renovation that needs to happen to that stage or to that foundation. Um, it's going to be really important to move through February thinking like, what's keeping me awake at night? What's keeping me from resting? What's keeping me, you know, in a pessimistic mindset or what, what am I regretting? You know, four of pentacles, five of cups, nine of swords. It can deal with like situations that are endlessly paradoxical so i feel like some of you are in relationships where it's just really hard to um you know understand what the other person wants really hard to voice what you need without like denying it to yourself in the future so you're kind of dealing with like situations that um just can't really get better okay and i think you're challenged to start to create situations which you can not control but know will suit you in the long run so um, what I'm trying to say by all of this Capricorn is if something becomes obvious that it's not going to be um, working out positively for you or if you're with someone or there's someone around you or people around you where it's like blatantly obvious that, you know, understanding is not going to happen or mutual benefit is not going to happen. You know, you have to do all the work. You have to do all the emotional work, all the physical work, all the monetary work. You know, I want you to really sit with yourself and ask yourself why you're maintaining it. Like, is it because of how they made you feel a long time ago? Is it because of um, how you felt as you go through the coping process of it all? Um, and again, this is more directed towards coupled Capricorns, and I'll get to the single ones here in a minute. But it's an important time to evaluate your relationships. We're at the middle point of this Saturn transit for you. So this is the point in time where you've seen where things aren't right. You've seen limitations. You've seen what... Um, just what isn't up to standard. Like strong standards, strong boundaries would have most likely been set by now. And now at this middle point, you can see what's living up to that and what isn't. And now is your evaluation time. And now is the time that you start to get things in order to live up to that standard that has been set. Um, some Capricorns, I feel like, just aren't realizing how much better things have gotten. And they're applying uh, sort of this, um, what I want to say, this spectrum of happiness to like, a past period of time that was much more unhappy so like in comparison to that maybe things start to feel better and you want to hold on to them but things have gotten a lot better in a lot of ways for you capricorn and by seeing that you have to understand how you also have to adjust your spectrum to that sense of betterness 
And my apologies, Capricorns, I just realized that I was uh, using the wrong microphone, and I am now using my uh, proper good microphone, so I apologize for that more low-quality audio in the beginning of this video, but let us continue. Um, yes, I feel like it is a period of time of um, realizing how much better things have gotten, and also how much better your sense of like what you can achieve what you can have has gotten so the confidence the optimism for the future the trust in your own ability to um rise above like that's really i think gotten better for capricorn like your your willingness to fight and to fight for what you love to fight for what you want to see in your life um don't underestimate that right now one huge benefit of having a saturn transit is um is the strength that it does bring you it does bring a limitations it brings um highlighting of where things have gone wrong it brings um sometimes erosion as well you know dark night of the soul but it also gives you the toughness that you need to handle those things so um contributing to your health on top of that is really good right now so that in the future after saturn passes you you will continue to have good health and and not squandering that because it gives so much like saturn gives so much um and sometimes we feel like it just gives a lot of like pain and heartbreak but it gives us more than we can imagine like it gives us all of the the room that we the, that we need it clears the space kind of like pluto saturn and pluto are similar in this way that they clear out spaces um and they make room for what we need and what we want in our lives and sometimes when we hold on to those things that need to be cleared out, that's that's when the pain of those transits comes in. So um, don't doubt things being cleared out right now and don't doubt the strength that you have to refill that. You know, something that I'm really wanting to do, Capricorns, is a specific video on Saturn being halfway through Capricorn and getting towards that point. So like a middle Saturn type of video. Comment below if y'all are interested in that. It seems like something I would really like to make um, if you guys would be interested in that. So thumbs up and comment for a middle Saturn video. Um, maybe also do one for Jupiter, uh, depending on if you guys would like that when I mean, it gets halfway through Sag. But um yeah, as I was saying, don't doubt your capacity to refill the space that gets uh, cleared in your life because it is a clearing time for you. And I want you to feel like as clear as you can by middle March, okay? So like by the time we're getting towards the astrological new year, I want you to have things as clear as possible, um, as straight as possible, as ordered as possible. I want you to let go of what you know is going. And I want you to buy, again, late March, be enjoying the thought of refilling those gaps so refilling your gaps that's going to be a huge theme in march for you capricorn and how enjoyable strong and just in your element you can be during that process it's going to be so beautiful anyway let's go ahead and get into the week to week and see what else is coming up for you all in the first week of february capricorns you have the hero font rooted down by four of pentacles reversed so um, a lot of understanding and insight coming into what you hold on to, what you save, what you conserve, what you keep, okay? The feelings you keep, the money you save, the resources you hold close, the people you hold close. And that's, again, a lot of what Saturn impacts in our lives because the things that we keep closest to us have the most impact over us. So um, we have to make sure that the impact on us in our lives is not something that ultimately holds us back, is toxic to us, or makes us um, risk our identity. So that's why, you know, the people closest to us, the things we hold most dear, get challenged during a Saturn transit because we have to make sure that they're sturdy, okay? Um, sturdy things can withstand a challenge and can withstand um, being questioned, Okay, so can things withstand being questioned in your life, Capricorn? Can the things closest and most dear to you withstand, you know, a question or a challenge? Um, I think that it's important to ask questions in the first week, and I think it's important to listen to the answers. The Hierophant is all about being given an answer, being given an insight, like a light bulb moment. So you're going to have light bulb moments about what you're holding near and dear to you. You're going to have light bulb moments about what you're saving, and you're going to have light bulb moments about what that gives you, like what holding things close, grudges even perhaps. Sometimes Four of Pentacles reverse to me um, makes me think of grudges. So you could release a grudge. That would be a very positive thing to do in the first week of February. Because if you can release grudges, resentment, um, 
trauma toxicity. The space that clears out in your life going into this last month of the astrological year of February, um, the space that that clears out to let go of that during that time is so sacred and can take you so far. I so encourage you to do what you can to find forgiveness during that time. And, you know, sometimes that's another huge factor in Saturn transits is forgiveness because when we hold a grudge, that can be so heavy. And Saturn is all about the heavy things. It's less about emotional heaviness. It deals a lot with our physical heaviness, like, um, you know, our bodies, our bank accounts, our houses. But um, especially if you had that Saturn transiting, you know, an emotional house in your chart, um, it would be a lot about the emotional patterns you're hanging on to. So I would urge you to think about those and are they benefiting me right now? Are they benefiting my progress? And are they something that helped me at this point in time? You know, what what space does this grudge taking up uh, prevent from, you know, something new and great fulfilling that space. It's a good train of thought for Capricorn right now. Week number two, strength reversed, rooted down by temperance reversed. And when you get into that type of mindset and thinking, you know, you see, you see where heaviness, toxicity, grudges, even coming from other people, whether it's from you or from other people, you see how much that saps your vitality. You see how much that skews the balance in your life. And you see, um, you see that it, it, it just takes a lot. And what's really nice about that week, though, and those energies being together despite being reversed, is that you see what vitality was taken. You, ta you see what balance was taken. And you see also how to start mending that as well. So yes, the second week will show you um, where you're lacking, where, where the balance is not. And then you can really start to make a plan on how to... Um, fix those gaps for sure. Week number three, you have five of cups reversed, rooted down by the world reversed. So, you know, sometimes there is a, a grieving period after you realize, you know, what is truly culpable for where you're at. And um, I think that the third week is a good time to just realize what is no longer here. And again, the space that that provides to now create more. I think there's a big creative inspiration that can happen in the third week from uh from the lack, you know, because I, I know that there's a lack, Capricorn. I, I know that there's like a void. There's a space in your life that you wish was more full, but is remaining um, empty. And what happens is you fill that emptiness with grief. And your challenge in the third week is to start to transmute that grief into creativity. Okay, so you could see grief there. You could see um, a little bit of pain and a little bit of mourning that has to happen. But it is really incredible to see that um, there is a new leaf to turn over and to refill that space with more creativity. Um, also, the world reversed can tend to indicate that we might not be letting go of something. Also, Nine of Swords reversed as well, which comes in the next week. Um, so you could see that you kind of start to let go or you kind of start to get over the addiction or whatever it is. And then it's like, but wait, I can't let go of this. I can't end this chapter. And I want you to understand that this time of the year, these last two weeks of February, in like the first week of March, second week of March, is one of the strongest ending energies available. So understand that. Understand that things that feel like they're naturally going away or naturally receding should perhaps be embraced within that. And like, don't try to hold things too strongly. Don't go into four of pentacles and hold on to things which are naturally ending there because it is natural and it is part of it. So just rather, I would encourage you to think about what you can replace that with and what you can grow within yourself to get stronger starting then. Week number four, nine of swords reversed, rooted down by three of pentacles. And that's exactly what we're talking about really is turning that grief into a new structure, building above it, building a new foundation based on what was lacking. Um, that is really your challenge for the month of February and um, coming in really clearly in the fourth week. You know, if you want, you can be, um, uh, what do I want to say? dwelling like you could be dwelling if you wanted in the fourth week but i want you to kind of dwell more on the new possibilities and the new foundation that you're laying again three of pentacles is such a card representative of the year 2019 it's such a building year it's such a ascension rise above jupiter and sag saturn and capricorn energy that um you know that's really going to be opportune for you and you're going to find fortune in transmuting this pain and struggle into creativity. Again, your central theme is seven of wands. So um, 
not a great month to indulge in conflict, not a good month to be too defensive. Um, again, four of, there's a similarity between Four of Pentacles and Seven of Wands to me, um, except Seven of Wands is a little bit more confrontational, um, but it's all about holding on to something, you know. Sometimes it's about facing opposition as well, so um, you're on higher ground, of course, but do you need to look towards opposition? Do you need to look towards um, something that is against you? It might be best to um, turn your back and build something higher. Likewise, you know, um, even if you had to face opposition in some way, I do think that there's a strong message that you're on higher ground and you're able to, like you have uh, the advantages. Like Saturn, again, it makes you tough, it makes you strong. You have the advantage to deal with opposition if you had to. But do you need to face opposition? And what are all the paths looking like? Which paths entail opposition? Which paths entail defensiveness? And are those the right ones? Just think about your path this month, Capricorn. Think about the light bulb moments. Think about what you're holding on to and think about where your strength and balance is and you will be good. Natural letting go period of time, natural ending phase, especially later this month. Take advantage of it. Clear out some space. Get some creativity going. You are one of the strongest signs right now. Um, and yeah, that feels like a natural place to conclude this month's reading. If you guys haven't had the chance yet to, te to check out my 2019 Year Ahead series, I hope you'll get to because it's really great and it's really uh, awesome. It was so enjoyable to put it together. Um, and I think that it's really great to get an idea of the year we're about to go into in March. So that'll be in the center of the screen now. Likewise, um, my links are in the description box if you wanted to get a reading or if you wanted to uh, find some of my other channels, some of my other methods of speaking. I have my Patreon page and my Instagram and my Twitter. Um, be sure to check out those links if you get the chance, as well as my merchandise. I have my Jupiter Strong t-shirts and uh, phone cases and stuff if you would like to support my channel. They're such great quality and they're so um, like just awesome. I'm so happy with them. So be sure to check out the Jupiter Strong stuff as well. It's all below. Um, have fun with that. Likes, comments, and subscribes make my day. I will be talking to you guys soon. Bye.